Hello my wonderful viewers and welcome to another episode of Betty Adams Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing a book that was sent to me and all disclaimers I was given a free copy of this book for a fair and honest review. This is a children's book so if you've got younger nephews and nieces or kids of your own but if you just like that surreal kind of Norman Rockwell feel from the 70s and 80s this book might be for you. So what book are we talking about? We are going to look at Grow, How We Get Food From Our Garden by Carl Beckstrand. Again, this book was sent to me as a free copy in exchange for a fair review. And I must say, this book surprised me. From the cover and pitch, I was expecting a fairly colorful, engaging, but fairly straightforward how-to book. But that is not what I got. This was a blast from the past that took me to the memories of when I was a child, hunting amongst the oldest books. So, what is this book? It is a poem. Here's a bit of it. Outside my window, I see green leaves and light. My heart beats faster. Days like today make me smile. I love to work in my garden. Till and turn, hack and hoe, plow and plant, mulch and mow. January to June, harrow and weed. April to August, water and feed. Sow by row, graft and grow. The poem goes on for here, but I really wanted to talk about the art style. This is a children's book, and the art is what it's all about. You've got some beautiful images of plants and their root systems that are very skillfully done and show a high level of technical skill, but it's all done in a kind of surrealist style that's very... If Norman Rockwell was surrealist, if that makes any, any sense. This is definitely something I remember from second grade readers from the 1970s and things that we would get our hands on at the local library. Stories to teach children. This, like I said, this is really, really taking me back to my childhood and a little bit beyond. Now, the funny thing is different parts of the art seem to have different levels of realism and surrealism. The trees, the farmyards are fairly realistic for a children's book, but the sunflower patch is different. But the surrealism doesn't really, really hit till we get the gourd to the gourds and the tuber vegetables. Then you start getting pulled between an 1860s agricultural seed catalog calendar and that 1970s instructive surrealism. This book is really colorful. I'd love to have a nice hardcover copy to read my kids. And there's a bunch more books in this series. Uh, Carl Beckstrand's part of a conglomerate, uh, co-op. But anyway, you can find that out by following the link to his website if you're interested. The links will be on my blog. And so that is my review of Grow, How We Get Food From Our Garden by Carl Bex Beckstrand. I believe the illustration is by Zanara. Yes, illustrated by Zanara, written by Carl Beckstrand. Zanara definitely has a very fascinating art style. Like I said, it really takes me back. All right, so that is my review of Grow. Check out the links below the video for to go to the Amazon link for Grow. Uh, it's also available on Barnes & Noble, Powell's, and what's that other one I tried to leave a review on? Anyway, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Powell's. And if, you, and if you want my book, Humans Are Weird, I have the data. That link will also be below. Check them out, and peace out, my wonderful viewers.